again, and this is Kurt Knox, hopefully with a little more hair. It's been a week. I've been using Rogaine, so uh, we'll check back in on that later on. You should have read in the book Chapter 14, Section 2. This is a mistake. It's not Chapter 13, Section 2. Read in the book Chapter 14, Section 2, pages 563 through 569. The essential question for these notes are, what are the parts of blood and what are their functions? So you're going to learn about the parts of the blood and what those uh, parts do. Okay, what is in your blood? Your blood is made up of many things. As you can see, more than half is plasma. Plasma is the liquidy part of your blood. Without plasma, your blood might be chunky. That would be disgusting. Okay, and a little bit less than that would be the red blood cell, and they carry the, um, the oxygen to your cells and carry away your carbon dioxide to your lungs. And then very little, we have platelets, which help you stop bleeding when you get a cut, and white blood cells, which help fight germs and help you stay healthy. How much blood do you have? Well, an average adult, about 150 pounds, has about five liters of blood. And since you guys are less than that, you probably have less um, than five liters. Hello, so I'm going to talk a little bit about blood type. So many of you may have heard that there are different blood types, that people have type A blood or type B blood. So we're going to talk about what does that mean? Well, on your red blood cells, if you look at these pictures up here under group A, that would be type A blood, each cell has a little marker on it, and those are called antigens. And they kind of act like name tags to tell your body that something belongs or something doesn't belong. That way your body can kill and get rid of any germs that might get in your body that shouldn't be there. So someone with type A blood has a type A antigen or type A name tag on their cell. Someone with type B blood has a different marker. So you can see that these are a different shape. Someone with AB blood has both A and B markers. You can see they have the little A circle and the B diamond. And someone with type O blood has no markers or no antigens on their blood. So what happens is someone with type A blood cannot get blood from someone with B because their body sees these different antigens, these markers, and they notice that they're different, and that person would actually attack that blood. The same with AB. Because it has these markers that it doesn't recognize, it would attack AB blood. Someone with A blood could get O because there's no markers on there to tell the body that it doesn't belong. So this is important because you can only get a blood transfusion, which is if you were in an accident or had surgery and you needed more blood added to your body. It has to be a blood type that your body would not attack. Because if your body attacked your, your blood, you wouldn't be able to survive. It can make you very sick and even kill you. Uh, if you don't know your blood type, you can ask your doctor if you ever give blood or have your blood tested. They're always going to test for your blood type. All right, thanks for listening.